from me digital on YouTube and RamiDigital.com. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show um, how to make a simple kid's birthday slideshow. Uh, Sony Vegas can handle um, still images. You can drag a whole bunch of still images onto your timeline and it knows how to handle it. Uh, in order to like, if you wanted to, if you just drag a, a, a single photo in it, it's going to put it on the timeline, you bring another one, puts it right next to it. You got to manually, you know, dra overlap these things so you get that, that fade in it. So we can, we can automate this thing uh, in Vegas. So when you drag all your photos, let's say you have 50 or 60 photos, you don't want to go individually overlapping them and fading them so it starts the next one. So we go to option. This applies to all Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, and Vegas Pro 14. So go to option and go to your proper, uh, preferences. Uh, there's a bunch of bunch of stuff in there. We're gonna cover those things in the future. But go to your editing tab and then look down here. It says new still images length in seconds. So that means that uh, if you bring in import or you drag a still image, um, not for it, a still image in there, how long to make the, the still image for. Um, you can set it up for like, you know, 20 seconds. So that means if you apply this thing and then you bring your image in there, the image is going to be 20 seconds long. You see, that's right on the 20 seconds line. And that's, that's way too long. I mean, everybody's going to get bored if you're watching, on, you know, just a single image without animation for 20 seconds. You're going to go crazy. So what we want to do, the standard for all of the slideshows are five seconds and change this one to five seconds, okay? Say apply. Also, before we, we close this thing, if you come a little bit uh, further down, it says automatically there's a check mark in it, automatically overlap multiple selected uh, media. That means if you uncheck this thing, if you drag, like say 10 photos into a timeline, they're gonna be right at the end of each other, one starts, the other one stop, and so on like that. Uh, if you check this thing, then what it's going to do is going to overlap them and you know, fade the first one and then fade fade out the first one and fade in the second one so there will be a transition between them with the fade and this number here uh, sets how long the over uh, the fade and the overlap should be if you have a five seconds um, still image one second should be very good so we apply this thing and we're done so now you go to your uh, pc your computer whatever it is and uh, you find your images that you wanted to drag in there. So I'm gonna grab this one, select this one, hold the shift down and go down to like here. I select a whole bunch of one, whole bunch of images. I'm gonna drag them and just bring it onto my timeline. Okay. Now you see everything came in there and every clip is five seconds. So then you see how they're faded. There's one second between them, the fade from four seconds and five seconds. If you had 100 photos, it would just be all do the same thing. Now, when you play this thing, at the fourth second, it's going to be, you know, half a second on this end, half a second on that end. So then what you do, you bring a, a nice audio track. You throw the audio track in there. And you listen to it and just see how it goes. Okay, so you put your audio in there and you put your images in there, all, all, they're all fading. You can just make a slideshow just like that. Add some more text. We already covered the text. You can use legacy text. Put your text in here, say happy birthday. Uh, make the sign and it would, just, it would just show up. Change the font, animate, however you want to do it. But we're not going to do the text right now. We're going to worry about it later. Um, the other thing you can do, once you, your slideshow starts, you can add some animation if this there's still photos if they're not doing anything and so you just want to add some more to it so in this case it's, it's a little girl and you want it to be add some uh, images to it you can animate them or just the still images in this case I see you see I have few images I even downloaded on YouTube I just put like cartoon planes and cartoon clouds cartoon elephant and that sort of thing there, there are a bunch of bunch of stock footages out there images out there you can get them for free and, but one thing you gotta make sure that they're all PNG. PNG means they have an alpha channel transparent background, so it will not affect with the, with the actual images. So in this case, I'm gonna bring this um, pink elephant, I'm gonna put it right on top of the, on the bottom top track, okay? 
So and I and I timed it to where the my uh, fade starts. That's how it comes in. Or you can start it on, on this way. E either way that you wanted to do it. And then you play your slideshow. Okay, there is a pink elephant. Of course, it's way too big. You don't want it to look that big. First of all, you make this a little bit smaller, and then go to your motion track. Uh, on your track motion, we can do it with the pan and crop, but depending on the aspect ratio of the image, sometimes it might not work. You have to do a little bit extra work. The easiest way in this thing, just go to track motion, open up your track motion. Right where you are, put a point there. Uh, go back to your original point and just reduce the size of the pink elephant. Make sure these two tabs are checked. This is to lock aspect ratio and this is scale to the center. You don't want it to be uh, lopsided. So grab this gun. If you just move your mouse over there, you see the cursor changes. Just as soon as it changes, just hold the key down and just small, make it small or big or however the size that you want. It. Let's say you wanted to make it this size. And then let go. Then grab this box and then move it wherever you want it to move it. You want to put it on this end or you want to put it on this right side? I'm going to put it right there. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Okay, actually, we don't need this thing. I'm going to show you for the next second. So now, if you play your slideshow, and it just pops up, and you can do a little bit of fade in here, and then line it up with this, and line it up with this one, and also do another fade out. So the elephant comes in there, the pink elephant. The same thing. Uh, for the next photo, I have a another one. I'm just gonna overlap them, just like that. Since we already changed the track motion to this size, so anything after that is gonna be the same size. So you can put all these images in there. Now you get to the next one and so on like this and you can add as many as you want. Now for like say if you got some boys and you want to add some more like a plane. Okay, here's a plane. I'm going to put it on a different track. I'm going to put the plane on here. Of course, it's way too big, right? So what we do, you know, you go at the beginning of your footage, open up your motion track and make this sucker small. Like this small that you want it. Uh, now in this case, we want to animate this. And since the plane, you want the plane actually come across the screen and move. So go, again, uh, you're going to have to two points. In these ones, we did only one point because we just reduced the size. There's no motion involved. In this case, we want to make a motion. You can do it on the same track, but it's better to you know, separate them so you know what you're doing. So go into here, open up your track motion where you put the track to where you resize it. Grab this guy and move it out of your frame outside you can put it as much as you want you want to back in there okay and then go to your end of your clip and then open up your track motion again and put a point there when you click in the plus it adds a little anchor in there once you put the anchor in there grab this guy and move it move it to like this part this much here so now what you're gonna see I'm gonna make this a little bigger so you can get see it now you get animation that means if you start from here, see the plane moves and goes across. So you made animation with the, with the non-animated object. So when you play your slideshow, the plane goes across. Of course, you can do a whole bunch of things. Like the plane, if it's coming, like right now it's going in the, in the same horizontal line. Move the plane, up. you know, the, your end destination, move it up here. So the plane starts from here and it ends here. The other thing you can do, you can rotate it. Um, if you want the plane to go up, I'm gonna rotate it like this. So then if you play your slideshow, plane comes out there and goes out. Now this concept works for everything, for everything in a, as far as creating a motion in Sony Vegas with a non-motion uh, object. In this case, with just a picture of a plane. Uh, the same thing uh, that you can do. I'm going to duplicate this track, okay? Move this in here, and I'm just I'm going to put some cloud in there instead of the plane, okay? I'll replace the cloud. So now when I play my slideshow, the plane goes across. Then on the next segment, the clouds are going across. Okay, I hope you get the you get the gist of this thing. You get to understand it how to do motion tracking with Sony Vegas. This is not 3D, this is just 2, 2D motion, going from left to right, up and down. But again, you can make a very nice slideshow. You can just tag all this thing all around with each other. Start your slideshow, put the music, and add some text to it. And I'm sure your kids will love it, because I have a 10-year-old 
and I make uh, videos for him and he just loves it again if you guys uh, please if you guys like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and look for my next uh, Vegas Pro tutorial thanks guys